welcome to another episode of The Noble Way. We are here at Epcot again, because we love Epcot. We are going to go around the World Showcase and see what there is to eat and drink when there's not a festival, because we're always here during the festival. Um, We've been a couple times since then, but it was super, super crowded, so we didn't get to do too much. It was crowded. Yeah. So we're, we came here tonight, and we're just going to go around and see what there is to do when there's not a festival. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we'll find out. We've been yeah. There's a lot of things we've been wanting to do, but we decided, like, let's just yeah. wait until there's not a festival, because well, when there's a festival, yeah. there's tons to do. We're like, we'll do that later. We'll do that later. And so. there's a festival coming really soon here, so yeah. this is our only chance to do it. So. Today's later. Let's find out. cute I've not seen this before it's definitely new merch it's in the little girl section but um, I feel like some adult big women could wear it because it goes up to the 13 it's kind of like it feels like an adult size if you want to feel super princessy but yeah it's like a princess faux fur um, jacket she she's not saying it but she wants one for herself <laughs> I do. she's trying to figure out if she can fit into it it's only $49.99 and it is super cute. It does not latch, I don't think. It do no, it does. It has a latch up here at the top. And the inside has all these little uh, tiaras all over it. I feel like it's all the different princesses' tiaras. So cute. And it's like a light pink on the inside. And you can wear it over like one of these dresses. I feel like this dress looks like Princess Tiana. It looks like Tiana. Um, I'm not positive. Like It's a pretty long dress. This is a size 8. Um, little girls. It's super cute. It's like a really, really light mint green and it has some gold accents on it. Um, flowers, but I feel like it's very Tiana esque. Um, it doesn't say that on the tag anywhere, but I feel like it is. But you could wear this little jacket over it um, and you would have a whole outfit. There's a wall of, of these dresses. And this one is the tangled one. It has the little lanterns on it from Tangled and the sun up there. Um, it's super cute and it goes with that jacket. See, they have the jacket hanging over there as well. Um, but yeah, it's like a whole little outfit and it's actually a really, really cute costume if you wanna buy it now for next year. And there's the dress that I feel like is Tiana um, from Princess and the Frog. But yeah, it's over here on this little princess wall and I absolutely love them. I have never seen this stuff before. All right, so we are starving and there's no festival going on and we decided to try one of these restaurants. There's so many unique restaurants in the World Showcase and we've tried a couple of them before, but we've never been to any of, we, we haven't been really any of these here in Mexico, yeah. which is where we're at. So we decided today we were going to try, we we're like, I don't even know which one to go for. We kind of like bounced around between the menus and like walked back and forth and we settled on La Cantina de San Angel. Um, and. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I'm just going to call it La Cantina because that's probably at least that's right. Um, and that's the sort of like quick service little outdoor place. Now, there's no mobile order for this, so you do have to wait in the line. The line was pretty long, um, but it went fast. I'd say it was about maybe 10 minutes from the time we got in the line till we ordered and like, you know, and then we got our food like five or 10 minutes later, so it didn't take that long. Um, so that was good. Right across the street is the little sort of like margarita booth, and they have... They have tacos and empanadas and things there too. And we were like, it looks kind of the same, but it looked like over here at the quick service, you get three tacos. Over there, you get two tacos. But it's like $15 or $16 for three here versus $10 for two. So it's about five bucks a taco. 
So either way, I guess does it, it's just whatever you're in the mood for. They do have more margarita choices over at the other one than they do here. Yeah, there's um, there's only two here, and I think there's four over there, plus all the frozen ones. Yeah. And then there's also the La Hacienda de San Angel, which is like the nicer Mexican cuisine restaurant um, that's right next door. Interesting fact, it actually shares a it actually shares the kitchen with this La Cantina. So La Cantina de San Angel is kind of like the quick service, like, Quick Bites version of La Hacienda, which you usually get reservations for, and it's much more expensive. But it shares the same kitchen. It's slightly different foods. Um, there's probably more fancy over there and better options, but like this is more the quick service version. So kind of cool that it actually shares the same kitchen. You can actually see it when you're standing in there waiting for your food. And then inside the big Mexico like pyramid, the uh, whatever it is, huh. I, I don't know, my, ruins, Mayan <laughs> ruins. I, I, I don't know. I'm not good at this stuff. Um, there's another Mexican restaurant called the San Angel Inn, yeah. which is, it's very dark in there. Yeah. Um, but really cute, we have eaten at that one restaurant. It's just been a really long time and I don't remember anything about it. So we, we need, we're going to give it a shot again. But so there's a lot of Mexican places to choose from right here. So we went to the quick service today, but I have to tell you, the quick service price is a little pricey. Yeah. But let me, let me just tell you, it was, so I'm looking at the cost of this, it was $58 for us. Let me show you how much food we got. We got too much <laughs> Like, oh my goodness, what were we thinking? Look at all this food. It's insane. Yeah, so a lot of food. Um, I didn't feel like I was ordering a ton of food. And I actually could have been a little bit better at the ordering, but we got the trio, the taco trio. So you're only you're supposed to only get like one beef, one chicken, one one fish taco with the three the taco trio, but you can actually sub them out because we didn't want the fit. We were like, let's not get the fish one we, because we both wanted the chicken one. So we got two chicken and one beef. So we're gonna try the chicken ones each, and then we'll do the we'll share the beef one. We'll see. And then you get rice and beans, and the beans have a little queso on them. We ended up not getting the beans on accident, so I got all rice instead of beans and whatever, maybe we'll look at that. I mean, I, that looked good, but we didn't get it. You're also allowed to sub out, if you don't want the beans or the rice, you can get something else, and we got plantains. And I love plantains. So I got a side of plantains. Um, now they did mess up how they did it on the order, so I ended up paying $5 for these plantains instead of actually getting it subbed out. And I was too lazy to go fix it, so. But he did say you could sub them out, and that's what was supposed to happen, but oh well. Um, and then, we got guacamole and chips. And then there's um, salsas over at the salsa bar. So they have like a salsa verde, which is like a green salsa, mild, and then they have a hot chipotle salsa. So we're gonna try all this food out. And then I got a large drink and then she got, why don't you show them? La Classica Margarita. It said Top Shelf. Wait, La Classica Top, top shelf, shelf Margarita. Top Shelf Classica Margarita, yeah. which is the same exact name as the one over across yeah. the street. So I feel like it's gonna be the same. Oh, yeah. yeah, it looks like a spicy chili rim, like chili salt. It's good. Um, it tastes just like a classic margarita. Um, I really like the rim, the chili salt on the... I feel like it reminds me of the chili salt I had on the first margarita when I first came to the Food and Wine Festival and I came to the Mexico little booth. Mm. So is it lime salt. flavored? Yeah, it has orange uh, liqueur in it too, but I don't taste the orange, so, I just taste lime. So tequila, yeah, orange liqueur, yeah. lime, something, a little bit of like chili salt. Yeah. And that classic margarita was $16. Yeah. The taco trio we got was $15. The chips and guac was $10. Which is kind of expensive, yeah, but it's lot. huge. Yeah, it is. Huge. And the chips look really good to me. The plantains were $5. Um, and then we got some sour cream, which it doesn't come with sour cream, so we got sour cream that was 75 cents. We've done guacamole before, and I feel like it's a broken record. I always say I want a little bit more lime juice and a little bit more salt. But it's good guacamole. And it's a good size amount. It's a good amount of guacamole. But I don't think there's enough guacamole for how many chips you have no there's not <laughs> you get a lot of chips Is, so definitely going to want to su supplement the with, with the salsa or just not eat all the chips i'm going to try the salsas that are free over at the salsa bar he this got me a salsa. hot one so I'm she got the hot it. one it's pretty hot i like it actually i'm going to try it with the guacamole because i feel like the guacamole needed a little bit more something probably needed more lime but yeah. um i'm going to try the hot salsa with it the salsa variety doesn't have much flavor it's not that great because it doesn't have enough flavor. It's not hot though. Let me taste it. It just needs a little bit more. I, usually it's a little sour, more sour than this. I like it, but it is, it's lighter. It kind of has yeah, a light flavor. It's good though. It's a little bland. I do like it. Yeah. Um, now, I did pay for an additional salsa. Because <laughs> we didn't Wasting know. money. Shouldn't have done that. Because I said, can I get a side of salsa? And I paid $5 for the salsa. 
that they gave me, which is like a red salsa. And then they gave it to me, and it was hot. Not hot. And we don't eat warm. Not hot, like spicy, but like warm yeah. uh, temperature. I was like, don't you have cold salsa? And they were like, oh, yeah, that's the free stuff over in the bar. I was like. After you'd already paid. <laughs> I should have done my homework. It's thin. I can say that. And I don't it's really very like thin. thin salsas. It's like watery. I hate it. That's the worst sauce I've ever had in my life. You hate it? I hate it. Hate I it. like it. Hate it. Here. I'm using the word hate here. What's that from? As good as it gets. Yeah. But that's awful. So this is a little like watery. I hate it. I like it. Because you like tomatoes. It's warm tomatoes. It does taste like tomato. Warm tomatoes. And it's warm. <laughs> but I like the flavor of it. It's kind of spicy. I like everything else. I haven't tried the tacos yet, but I'm sure I'll like them. I like the hot salsa. I like the salsa verde. I love the. I like the guac. How hot is the chipotle salsa? It's pretty hot. Okay, I'm not gonna try it's it. It's too then. hot for you. No, I'm not gonna try um, it. That tastes like I'm eating like warm tomato soup. They get it. You hate it. I hate it. I'm gonna try this plantain. Look at that. Oh, it looks. Do you have forks? Okay. There's like a cheese on it, which is kind of a weird, like, because plantains are sweet and then it's got like a salty cheese to it. I feel like they're mildly flavored. Yeah. Um, but I like it. Usually plantains are really sweet. And these aren't. These are kind of like not a lot of flavor. I don't know if it's because maybe they're not in season or maybe they're less ripe. I don't know. I like they're not the best. They're not the best plantains I've ever had. They're not, but I like them, and I like um, whatever the cheese. The cheese is. that cheese adds a little zip yeah, to it. Yeah, it does. I like kind of interesting. I don't know what kind of cheese it is? I'm not really had cheese on a plantain, so it's it's pretty solid. Um, the best, I think, the best plantains around are at Bob Marley. Mm. Tribute to Freedom, the Jamaican restaurant. That. Bob Marley is my favorite one. One of two fi of my favorite places to yeah. eat in all of Orlando. If you like, Number if you one like one plantains, is saffron, Indian food. Mm. Eat there. We should review it. That is it. good. We, we should do that. Yeah, number two is, and I feel like they're even. I don't even think it's number two. My top two. They're like on an even even playing field is Saffron and Bob Marley's. Bob Marley's. Is, if you like Jamaican food, if you like plantains, Bob Marley's got the Every time I eat it, I say this is the best meal I've had in ever. Yeah, what do you think of the rice? We haven't eaten it yet. I like it a lot. It's good. Oh, man, it's good. I love the rice. It's really good. It's one of the best uh, Mexican rice rice wow. that I've had. I love it. It's actually. really good. And I love Spanish or Mexican okay. rice. It, it's so good. Like the redder the rice usually for Mexican rice, the better for me. I like it a lot. I could eat like a whole bowl of that That's with some sour really cream. Good. I don't need anything else. He used to do that when we first got married. I would make Mexican rice and he put would. sour cream in it. And that was my whole that meal. Was like his home that was it. All the time. This like reminds me of that, man. Several it's good. times a week. <laughs> it's good. We were poor. It's not the best shot at this little taco, but what I see on here is I literally just see a corn tortilla, just some chicken, a little bit of cilantro. That's it. And then I put some sour cream on it. So I'm going to try it um, with just sour cream at first, but then I'm going to add some of the hot salsa I'm gonna do the same um, thing. that I got. Yeah, I'm going to put some salsa on my second bite. It's not the best chicken taco I've ever had. I, it's, it's fine. It's good. I love tacos. I don't think tacos have to be super special. I like tacos. I, I like any tacos. I shouldn't say that. But, um, but I'm not like freaking out over it. That's not bad. I liked it a lot better with the hot salsa on it. Um, the problem is, the chicken's old. Is it? I can't tell. Yeah. I can't tell because. I feel like it's been made for a long time. We waited a little too long to eat the taco, so the corn tortilla is like really hard, like mm -hmm. chewy. So I'm giving it merit for that. Um, I couldn't I still tell because like my tortilla was so hard. I couldn't tell really that the chicken was all. But could. chicken tasted okay. I'm so uh, finicky Where, about meat. Oh, I think the chicken's fine. But she's 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 like she's got an eagle eye on it though, so she she knows. I don't really notice as much. It's still good. I'm scared of the beef one. It doesn't look like beef. It looks like sauce. It looks like <laughs> it was supposed to be like a beef taco, and it just, it's like, just like dumped a bunch of sauce, sauce. in it. Like is the beef? I guess and I'm that's not real saucy. He is. I'm gonna let him try it first. Did you put sour cream on it? I should have. I'm going to. So I like the beef, which is so surprising. I never like beef anything more than I like chicken. I didn't think I was gonna like that by looking at it. I like the beef one better than the chicken. 
I like the flavor of it a lot. You don't? That's all right. <laughs> We're always different. I don't like it. He and I have different tastes. I mean, it was good. I just, the chicken was better. He also liked the warm tomato soup salsa, so. I did. The worst salsa I've ever had in my entire life. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, so when, I forgot to say when, I, when I, made my, my, I made my chicken one, I did it with sour cream. And then for one bite, I did a little bit of the green salsa that's free. And that was okay. It made it a little bit better. But then I did my last bite with that tomato salsa that you hate that I paid $5 for. <laughs> um, and it was way better. I so can't like, believe that was $5. So the, the salsa that I bought ended up making my chicken taco way better. So I'm pretty sure I would ask for some of that salsa. They have a small salsa and a large. I got the large. But I would probably want to ask them if they could put some of that salsa on my tacos if I get this again. All right, fireworks are about to start in about seven or eight minutes. Honestly, it's not that bad. Usually you can't hardly even walk right here right before the fireworks start. And I mean... It's getting kind of crowded over there. It looks more crowded right there than it actually is because there's a private dinner party right there, so you can't actually get into the um, preferred viewing right there that's normally there. So everyone's kind of piled up behind it, but it's not actually that crowded. So again, picked a nice night to come. All right, yeah. We stopped at the little apple orchard cart there in front of the Canada Pavilion. And we love Canada. Everything in Canada is everything good. In everything Canada's everything good. Canada is good. I've had the uh, the maple popcorn there before, yeah. and it's like delicious. And we saw last time we got the maple popcorn, there was something called the Ottawa Apple. Yeah. Which and apparently I, I, is like a drink that a lot of people get. Yeah, I was like reading about it online, and people really like it. So it's like a must have if, um, for a drink that's not at the festival, or even if you are go going to the festival. So we thought we'd try it. Yeah. Um, what's in it? So it's uh, whiskey. So there's a, a whiskey in it, and then it's got a maple infusion, and then cranberry juice. And I, I don't know. Sounds good. Yeah. So we'll Give see. it a taste there. I'm curious. And I it was fourteen dollars for that. I don't. I didn't hear anything apple in that. What you just said. It was an apple maple, apple maple infusion. Oh, okay. I was like <laughs> apple maple infusion, like, cranberry oh, juice, apple. and whiskey. Let me try it. Oh, you'll like it. I feel like it tastes like cranberry juice. With a little bit of alcohol, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, and I love cranberry juice. Yeah, I don't really taste the maple or the cran or the apple. I don't taste any. I mean, a little bit actually, of apple. Cram now that it's, I'm getting yeah, the aftertaste. Yeah, a little bit. Aftertaste. But mostly the apple. I'm not getting the maple though. I'm getting a little cranberry, a little, and then the apple's kind of hint there, and then um, I don't taste the alcohol at all though. So. I taste it barely. Do you? I mean, I mean, I'm not saying that it doesn't have alcohol in yeah. it because it does. I watched them make it, and, I, and there was like a pour. I don't think it was like a. A barrel but um, it, so it mean in other words it tastes really good it does it does it tastes really but good it tastes like if you like cranberry juice um, which I do I love cranberry juice um, get this yeah don't you think it was really good yeah I like it $14 14, 14 bucks so it's good we'll probably share that because it's really good um, yeah so that was fun we just ran into chasing dreams with Mike which is another yeah. vlogger channel uh, they're doing a live stream. They were walking around doing a live stream of the uh, Harmonious. Which is so going to start in a few minutes. We ran into them and said hi. It was great yeah. to, to meet them in person. So, um, hey guys. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's uh, let's keep cruising. I, we might be done for the night, but Harmonious is about to start. I'm going to see if we can Ten minutes. Spaceship Earth, but he doesn't know. Yeah, that we'll yet. see. <laughs> so, anyway, that's pretty good. So, again, everything in Canada is good. Everything in Canada everything is good. Everything in Canada is good. Most everything in Mexico is good. We stopped there first. Everything in Canada is good. Yeah. So, maybe we just, yeah, maybe we just really like Canadian and we like the Mexican neighboring, food. The neighboring countries to our state or to our country. Yeah, right? that's true. They do. They do <laughs> touch. Neighboring. Maybe that. Maybe that's because the, because they're so close to our country. They more of their food makes maybe. it into our. Maybe. Our food uh, choices, like I don't know. I have but no did idea. you know that the reason that uh, Mexico is one of the, the starter country on the left, and Canada's the starting country on the right, it's because those are our neighboring countries. I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's, that's why, pretty cool. That's why. <laughs> Fun fact by Candy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's cool. Uh. Yeah. So basically, the the ones right when you enter World Showcase, hit those babies up. So then, why is America so far in the back? <laughs> it is know. in the middle though so anyway moving on we are hauling our butts as fast as possible over here to spaceship earth the park closes in two minutes are we gonna make it 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 
Yes, we made it. Woo she was yelling at me the whole time to start running. I was like, I think we're gonna make it. We made it. Just barely. going off behind me. Hello. You see the fireworks from here. We just got off Spaceship Earth. We made uh, it. And always a fun ride. Now, did you know, fun fact, and I've got a little bit of footage of it I just showed, but did you know that uh, they there's some kind of interesting little like Easter eggs in there yeah. that Disney reused uh, when they made that and refurbed and everything. They used some they reuse some animatronic molds for the faces and things, and so if you pay attention, the uh, like the, the the printing press scene uh, actually uses Andrew Jackson's Hall of Presidents face mold that they used. So if you look carefully at the printing press, take a look at the face and rewatch it, and let me know if you think it looks like Andrew Jackson. And then up on the upper right hand corner in the one scene, there's a guy playing a mandolin, yeah. um, and there's some t debate on whose face it is. It's either Dwight D. Eisenhower's face. Or the face from the Carousel of Progress. I thought it looked like the guy from Carousel of Progress. I think it looks like the guy from Carousel of Progress, so. which also happens to be, by the way, the narrator for the Christmas story, yeah. in case you didn't know that. <laughs> so um, take a look. Rewind it. Take a look and tell, tell us what do you think. Whose face do you think the mandolin player is? Is it yeah. Dwight D. Eisenhower from the Hall of Presidents? Or is it the narrator from the Carousel of Progress? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's the Carousel of Progress yeah. guy. But I don't know. We'll see. And there's fireworks. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun tonight. We got to try some great food, uh, non-festival stuff. Festival's coming up, so I'm excited to hit that. We got to ride a ride, which I wasn't expecting. Yeah. We made it. Um, so that's <laughs> I it. So him in, I bullied him into riding. Yeah. So <laughs> until tomorrow, we will see you again. Thanks for joining us. Uh, until then, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>